Xabi Alonso, a Champions League winner, European champion, World Cup winner, master of passing, leader, and much more, what a career he's had. And if that wasn't enough, now in his debut season as a coach with Bayer Leverkusen, he's leading as winter champions. What an impressive performance so far. Is it all just luck, or is there something more behind the success? To be honest, it must be fate. A glimpse into his past reveals it all. The defensive midfielder Xabi Alonso started his career in Real Sociedad's youth setup. He made his debut for the senior team on December 1, 1999, in a cup game. Amid a turbulent year with three different coaches at Real Sociedad, Xabi was loaned out to SD Abar at the beginning of the 2001 season. He played 14 games for Abar before returning to the squad in January 2001 when John Toshak became Real Sociedad's new coach. Alonso matured into a key player, becoming a pillar of the team. With 34 appearances and 8 goals, he contributed significantly as the team secured second place in the 2002-03 championship, earning him the title of Spanish Footballer of the Year that year. In the following year, he helped Real Sociedad reach the Champions League's round of 16 and drew international attention with his performances. He then moved to Liverpool FC in August 2004. Under Rafael Benitez, he achieved the greatest success of his club career, winning the Champions League in his first year. In the final against AC Milan, he scored the equalizing goal for a 3-3 score, forcing the game into extra time. A year later, he also won the FA Cup with Liverpool. His most remarkable goal of his career might be the one he scored against Newcastle United from about 55 metres away during his time at Liverpool. In August 2009, he transferred to Real Madrid, with reports suggesting the transfer fee was around £30 million. Alonso immediately became the orchestrating midfield strategist under Manuel Pellegrini. In 2011, with the new coach José Mourinho, he won the Spanish Cup in his first National League title in the 2011-12 season. In January 2014, under the new coach Carlo Ancelotti, he extended his contract with the Royals for an additional two years until June 2016. After winning another Spanish Cup in the UEFA Champions League in 2013-14, Alonso declared he needed a new motivation and wanted to leave Real Madrid. It was the toughest decision of his life, he said. On August 29, 2014, Alonso subsequently joined FC Bayern Munich, signing a two-year contract. He was a desired player of Pep Guardiola and wore the number three jersey. He debuted in the Bundesliga on August 30, 2014, in an away game against FC Schalke 04. With 206 touches in a match against 1 FC Köln on September 27, 2014, he set a new Bundesliga record, later surpassed in May 2016 by Julian Weigel. On February 17, 2015, Alonso played his 100th Champions League game. He took over the number 14 jersey for the 2015-16 season, which he had previously worn at Real Madrid and Liverpool, as Claudio Pizarro left the club. On March 9, 2017, he announced his intention to retire at the end of his contract. In his final season, he secured his third German championship with Bayern. He played a total of 79 Bundesliga matches for the club. His international career, Alonso made his debut for the Spanish national team at the age of 21 on April 30, 2003, in a 4-0 victory against Ecuador. He represented Spain in the UEFA Euro 2004, FIFA World Cup 2006, UEFA Euro 2008, where Spain won the final against Germany with a 1-0 score and UEFA Euro 2012, where Spain successfully defended their title, winning against Italy 4-0. His greatest achievement came on July 11, 2010, when Spain won the World Cup against the Netherlands with a 1-0 victory in the final. After Spain's exit from the 2014 World Cup, he retired from the national team. He played a total of 114 matches for La Furia Roja and was coached by Luis Aragones and Vicente del Bosque. Let's revisit the top-tier coaches who have shaped Alonso's career, John Toshak, Rafael Benitez, Manuel Pellegrini, José Mourinho, Pep Guardiola, Carlo Ancelotti, Luis Aragones, and Vicente del Bosque. Additionally, as a midfielder, he held a position that acts as the link between defense and attack, demanding a high level of intelligence and game understanding. His former coaches recognized his exceptional potential early on. Let's listen to what they had to say about Alonso. I would say that uh, Xavi Alonso, his father was a manager. Uh, so he grew up similar to me. He was born with the father player. He grew up with the father manager. 
then you become a player, of course, much better than I was. Um, then you become a player, a top player. His position on the pitch and his knowledge of the game very high. And then he played in Spain, in England and in Germany. And he was coached by Guardiola in, uh, in uh, Bayern, by myself in Real Madrid, by Ancelotti in Real Madrid, by Benitez in Liverpool. So I think if you put all this together, I think Xavi has conditions to, to be a very good coach. Xavi, uh, gracias por tener el coraje de ir a Múnich a estar estos dos años juntos. Uh, no veo la hora que te sientes en los banquillos y te pueda ver uh, entrenar a tus equipos. Uh, seguro que agarras lo mejor de todos tus maravillosos entrenadores que has tenido, de lo que has aprendido de tus jugadores, porque tu curiosidad por el fútbol es infinita. Uh, te deseo lo mejor, gracias por este regalo de estar juntos de este tiempo. Uh, disfruta de tu tiempo pero te apuesto que en seis meses ya no aguantarás más y empezarás a prepararte para ser entrenador. Te espero en los banquillos. Un fuerte abrazo. Todo lo mejor. What do you think about Xabi Alonso? Where do you think he'll move after Bayern Leverkusen? Write it in the comments.